Shalom, Shalom, Yasharal, all praises and glory go say how by Shem Yao Shai by Shimmer Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and citations unto the like men feeding the sheep of Yahweh by Shem Yao Shai and sincerity and truth with this great gospel coming out of our Bible, man. Strictly coming out of our Bible. And um, this is what keeps us what focus, right? More more brothers putting up scriptures, more brothers putting up videos, right? Because without this gospel, where would you be? You would be back in the world, man. You'd be back in the world because you would get weak, right? Plus, it's really the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai keeping us in his truth. That's keeping us in his truth. That's keeping us focused on what? Pushing the gospel. What it says, Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, feed my sheep. So that's what we're here to do, feed the sheep of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. Right? And, um... I got to go back to this old news right here because these, these people are crazy here in Babylon the Great. They want you to get comfortable here in Babylon the Great. If you're an Israelite, a Negro, Hispanic, and Native American, if you're an Israelite in, in anywhere in the world, in this society, on earth, right, they want you to get comfortable in their kingdoms because their inward thoughts is what their kingdom shall continue forever, right? But that's not going to happen. What, what's the Lord doing? It's a transition of kingdoms right now. This is the last and final kingdom that we got to be a captive in. That we got to be a captive in. So we got to deal with their lies, right? <laughs> their lies, it says. New Florida Standard teaches students that some black people benefited from slavery because it taught useful skills. <laughs> yeah. What skills did it teach us? They were bug breaking, they were burning blacks, they were hanging blacks, they were killing blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, right? They only want to talk about blacks because they don't want to connect other tribes. They don't want too much history, right? The Bible said what? Let's get that verse. Let's get this verse. Here we go. This is the book of Jeremiah 50 and let's go to 50, 50 and 33. It says, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, right? The northern and the southern kingdom were oppressed together. We're here in Babylon the Great. Because the last time we saw our brethren was what before that Assyrian captivity where they took them away, right? They took them away and they set up who heathens in Samaria. That's why the Lord said, go not into Samaria, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because the northern kingdom had been taken away, right? And the Lord made a way for them to get to the new world, which is what? Here in Babylon, the great Central and South America, the Canadas, all the Caribbeans, right? It says, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Man, them devils ain't gonna let Jay go. Right, you had that Marcus Garvey talking about, man, go back to Africa, man, blood clot. <laughs> man, the Lord said, well, I, y'all motherfuckers went back. Y'all gonna get killed when y'all go back over there. Right, and not too many, and they put in, what's another thing, too? You got these agents, man. Esau sent an agent amongst your operation. You can't infiltrate your whole by Hashem, y'all shy. <laughs> right, yeah, because you had this pussy motherfucker. Who um turned in the Lord, Yahweh, who turned in the Yahweh Shai, who flipped in the Yahweh Shai for some money. Right? You gonna have them snake ass motherfuckers around us right now, man. What it says. Here we go. This is the book of Jude 1 and 4. It says, For there are certain men crept in unawares. Right? It says, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men yeah you got snakes amongst us <laughs> right we got snakes and serpents and ungodly motherfuckers right they only the only thought to their mind is to just see their people on the bottom really because that's what you're doing you fighting against the uprise of your people and we ain't talking about a, a uprise with weaponry we're talking about a spiritual uprise us returning back to our power that's the only way we could fight the only way you could the lord said Hold your peace and I will fight for you. <laughs> you can't fight for your fucking selves, man. These hey, these crackers are coming and tear your whole society apart. Yeah, fuck with a so-called white man and see what this devil do to you. <laughs> you better play your position. It says, for there are certain men crept in unawares. For there are certain men crept in 
unaware as who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness, right? It says into lasciviousness, denying the holy, denying the only Lord power in our Lord Yahweh Shammashiach, because really they don't believe, right? It's a lot of non-believers. <laughs> Look at these other camps, these little alphabet camps, right? Who don't have the gospel. They got some young, stupid, retarded motherfucker preaching. Why would you listen to some young? Unless they're amongst the great millstone, I don't listen to no young character and none of these other camps. Some young dude talking like he he the one who came up with this truth, man. You better go to you better go to the to the source. <laughs> right? You better go to the source, man. The source right now is who? The elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the bishops, the prophets, right? This is where it's at. This is where knowledge and wisdom is at. And we ain't here for no money. We ain't here for no vain glory. We here for what? The love of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man, the love of the Lord. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our power unto lasciviousness and denying what the only Lord yeah, power in our Lord Yahusha Mashiach. That's why they call him Yah, Yahweh, Yeshua, Yahuwah, Yedua, you never knew her. Right? All these different names. You be like, what the fuck? Niggas is making up names. Like one nigga was just in his fucking crib making up shit. We had to put a curse on his ass just about a year ago. Some bugged out ass nigga. He just he just he made up a name, right? You got one nigga, he done put two different alcohols together. And, and he said, that's the name of the Lord. I mean, you looking like these people are tripping. So we in the time of what bug out season, right? Bug out season. And one thing you got to be is fucking bug out to believe the lies of Esau eat him. Right? The lies of Esau eat him. Talking about we came here for, <laughs> for we done stuff fucking what? How did we prosper off this bullshit? Off of fucking captivity. You, you, the devils, you prosper. Why? Because we're using your money. Right? We living in your property, right? Ain't nobody established nothing here in Babylon the Great because everything goes back to Esau Edom. Right? Esau Edom. Let's get this verse, man. Here we go. This is the book of Job 13 and 4. It says, But ye are forgers of lies. Right? Ye are physicians of no value. You fork tongue motherfucker, right? You lying motherfucker. Right, you deceiving ass, satanic serpent, snake, right? This is the snake, this is the serpent, that old serpent, which is who the devil, the Bible speaks of. Right, the adversary of the Lord. Right, the slanderer of what his brethren. This is the wicked the scriptures speak of, which ye are forges of lies. Ye are physicians of no value. If you believe that anything these either might say, you don't lost your goddamn mind. Or you don't lost your goddamn mind, right? Because... Unless the Zedemites is dealing with what some things that's been written down, right? They research things. Okay, I can go back to this. I can go back to this and find out. Okay, this is true. But you got these Edomites just making shit out their ass right now. That's not Esau got an AI spirit. <laughs> that AI spirit about to destroy Esau's system too. That's another thing, man. This man is against himself. This man is against. He got a society that's totally against himself. The food is killing him, right? <laughs> The people, his people is killing him, right? The entertainment, the knowledge, the, the false knowledge, everything is against this devil, man. You got to be a fool to hold on to this man's system and his society, it says here in the book of Proverbs. I'm going to read Proverbs 13 and 5. It says, a righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame, right? It says, a righteous man hateth lying, right? If you hate something, you get, you get upset, right? Because you got these forges of lies, all they've been feeding you is what? False history, false narratives, deception, <laughs> right? They did this, they did that, but they're going to blame it on somebody else, right? They got that, that Roman-ass empire spirit, right? That Roman-ass empire spirit. This is the book of Proverbs 19 and what 9. It says, a false witness that shall, like it says, a false witness that shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish right and he that speaketh lies shall perish man that is the future of these edomites right they gotta first they gotta serve that thousand years <laughs> and it ain't gonna be a fast thousand years it's gonna be a slow thousand years 
right? Because the Lord is speeding up things right now for the elect's sake. But when the elect get in power, it's going to be, man, one day going to feel like probably 100 days, right? It's going to be beautiful because you're going to be so in comfort for a long, mighty long motherfucking time <laughs> punishing who the wicked the book of Proverbs 12 and 19 it says the lip of truth shall be established forever right the lip of truth shall be established forever but a lying tongue is but for a moment the lying tongue is for a moment right because <laughs> this man's rulership was only for a limited time right it says they gonna go down in the grave and they ain't gonna come back up right because really they wasn't set up to rule forever if wickedness continued man it says no flesh will be saved if these devils continued so we already know i'm reading again proverbs 12 and 19 it says the lip of truth shall be established forever but lying tongue the lying tongue is but for a moment for a limited time this is the book of job i'm gonna read job 20 and in job 20 and what we're gonna start at, bear with me. Ah, here we go, here we go. Let's start at four. Job 20 and Quatos. <laughs> right, it says, Knowing thou, right, it says, knowing, now, knowing thou not this of old, since man was placed on earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, right, and that the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. <laughs> Right, that the triumph. Man, how long you think the Lord gonna let these motherfuckers continue this bullshit? You got gay motherfuckers with their balls out, promoting, trying to promote the, the what they call the um, the Last Supper. Really, they should call that the Last Suckers. <laughs> right, these Edomites are the last suckers that we will ever see in power. The last suckers that you will ever see have authority. Right, it says they call them the. Ch they were children of fools. They were base men. These low life ass devils trying to what fucking mock the Lord, right? <laughs> so what the Lord gonna do? The Lord gonna drop a missile on they dumb asses. It says, knowing thou not this of old, since man was placed on earth, what that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and that in the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach up to the clouds, it says what, yea. He shall perish forever like his own dung. They which see him shall say, where is he? <laughs> where is he? We're going we're gonna to tell you where he at. He in, he in fucking captivity. 